What up, guys? I wanted to come do a look for you. And that was so ugly. Don't do that again. So we're just going to move right past that intro and get right into it. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. And the color I'm using on my eyelid is Damaged, this gorgeous emerald green. I'm just going to pat that all over my eyelid. To help buff out the green color, I'm going in with the color Rewind from the same palette. I'm just going to use that to buff out the cor or buff out the corners of the eyeshadow. I've applied two of my favorite transition colors um, as well. I'm using both the Embark and Swiss Chocolate from MAC and I'm just applying that on there. Then I'm going to go ahead with the Urban Decay Blackout. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to the outer corner of my eye. For the inner tear duct, I'm going in with the color Honey Lust from MAC. I'm just going to use my MAC 217 brush and just apply that right in the inner corner. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Inglot number 77 gel liner and I'm doing the tape method again just because I want to make sure I have a very sharp and crisp line. For our lashes, I'm going in with the Red Cherry number 503. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my lash line. And oh, I did this on camera with no problem. I'm super, super geeked right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and press my lash into um, my lash line, make sure it's nice and secure, and we're going to be good. Happy dance. Yes, I did it on camera. I'm really happy right now. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that lash is on there, and then I'm going to go and use the Max um, Eyeliner Pencil. The What color is this? This is Smolder. Oh my God. I'm going to line my bottom waterline. And below that, I'm going in with Max Plumage, and I'm just applying a little bit of that um, to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with the Damage, and I'm going to apply that on top of the plumage just to give it a little bit of a sparkle. And for the inner corner bottom line, I'm going in with the Honey Lust again. So I basically repeated the top colors on the bottom. So you know the highlight and contour routine. Sorry, I had a call come through while I was filming, so don't mind me talking. But anyway, I'm using the Maybelline Cafe 30 concealer and I'm going to go ahead and buff that into my face and I'm using my Sephora brush can't remember the name but I will have it listed in the description bar below I absolutely love this brush okay like seriously and for my contour I'm going in with the black opal foundation stick I'm trying to make sure I do not bring it too far down this time but I'm going to go ahead and just outline or contour those areas and I'm using my real techniques um, contour brush to buff that in And you already know, I'm going to go ahead and set the areas of my face that I highlighted. And I am using my new favorite, which is the Sasha Buttercup Powder, which has single-handedly, again, replaced my Ben Eye Powder. So I'm just going to go ahead and set all areas that I highlighted with originally. Once I've let my Sasha Buttercup powder set for a little bit, I'm going to go in with a clean um, foundation brush or powder brush. I'm going to buff out my face and then I'm going to apply a little bit of the Mineralize, Mineralize Skin Finish in Deep Dark from MAC. And I'm going to go ahead and buff out the areas of my face. To 
to set the areas that I contoured, I'm actually just going to go ahead and use the eyeshadow Embark from MAC. I don't know where I put my sleek palette, so I just use that and it works just as fine. I'm just going to set those areas of my contour to go ahead and bring out that jawbone a little bit and slim down that chin, honey. Ooh. For blush, because I'm so bold with the eyes, I'm going in with MAC's Peach Twist, which is a really gorgeous, like... I can't really explain it. It's a nice sheen color. But anyway, I'm applying just a little bit of that to the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and blend that up. For my lips, I am using my Wet n Wild eye, uh, Lip Liner in brown. I do not know where my chestnut is at, but whatever. This basically is the same. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and get that prepped for my lipstick. And for lipstick today, I'm going in with Max Blankety. This is like... Oh my God, y'all know how I feel about a nude. This is it. This is it. And on top of my lipstick, I'm going in with Max Oyster Girl just to give it a little bit of a sheen. And that is going to complete our look. So this is the completed look, guys. I hope you like it. I already know. Like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.